so as you can see right here the contact that have entered into this workflow is 21 the people that actually bought the course or people that or people that have made attempts to buy the course so they are actually 21 of which 10 people are in progress and 11 people are already out it means that 11 people these 11 people that are already out of this workflow have already bought the course they've paid for the course hello you're welcome to another video and in today's video i'm going to show you how to build an abandoned cart with the use of customer journey in mailchimp though this abandoned cart is kind of different because it's not like the usual abandoned cart where you have to just connect your shop to mailchimp and so on like that but in this abandoned cart we are actually going to be making use of tags first of all this workflow that you can see on my screen right here is actually for a client so the client wants an abandoned email automation for his business what he does he actually sells a course so but the thing is that his course is actually run on another platform which cannot be connected to mailchimp automatically so and that platform is called graphy so what graphy actually does is that though after you integrate mailchimp with um with with um graphy so it's going to tag people based on what they do inside your website so that's what graphy actually does so leveraging the use of tags i have to make the customer journey for him so as you can see right here, whenever a customer is tagged free user that is when they get pulled into the workflow so if you don't actually know what abandoned cart is abandoned cart is just someone trying to buy something on your website or someone that actually make an attempt to purchase something on your website but did not complete his purchase so what abandoned email now does is just to send message to those people telling them that hey you forgot something in your cart come and get it things like that so that is what i actually have to do for him then as you can see right here so the first one whenever they are tagged with freeze i meaning that they actually came to the website they registered but did not select any course so that is when they get pulled into the course then at the same time there's also a possibility that they might also initiate a payment or maybe something like might happen that probably they did not probably the payment did not go through maybe due to maybe their credit card or something like that different kind of errors can actually come into play whenever they are making whenever they're trying to make payments whenever something like that happens it also tags them so what i had to do was to separate them i had to make sure that people who who, who, who decided to pay but could not complete their payment get a different message from someone that actually just registered but did not even select any course at all so right here as you can see when they are tagged that is when they get pulled into the workflow so then there's a wait condition right here so this wait condition this is what it actually does you know normally when someone registers the next step is actually to make payments so the wait condition here is once the person gets registered yes what is what happens next i cannot just make the workflow begin to send a message immediately that you forgot to something in your cart and something like that so i have to put a wait condition to know if they have actually paid or not so that is what this condition right here is so once they make payments the website is going to remove the tag of free user from from their name in the database so they won't get any so they won't be able to continue in, into this workflow but if they've not paid or maybe they try to pay and the payment did not go through this that is what this condition is doing right here so as you can see right here the condition is if it is payment initiated so it means that once they initiate payment and their payments could not go through that means they are going to fall to this side so you can see after right after here once it waits till they are tagged, that's um, once it waits till they are tagged, payment initiated, then they are going to move on to the next condition right here. So you can see right here. So if the con if the contact is now tagged, payment initiated, we move to the to my left. And if they are not tagged, then it means that they move to the right. So you can see the way this this workflow goes. So all these things, all these conditions are just are, are just here so that the customers will not receive the wrong email and this will actually happen or it will actually trigger based on whatever they do on the website so then the next step right here then 
is going to send them an email. This is going to be the first email that they will receive. Telling because now once they get to this point, we are already sure that this person actually tried to initiate payments, but the payment did not go through. So then they receive this first email trying to remind them. I don't really want to go too deep into the email. Then after that, it waits for a day to send them another email. But before it sends them another email, you can see another condition which I put right here again. I put the condition here that if the contact is still tagged as a free user, because the thing is that whenever someone buys a course on that website, it's going to, if the person is tagged free user initially, it's going to update them and remove the tag of free user from there. So it's going to check after one day that is this person still a free user? Then if the person is still a free user, then obviously it means that the person has not still bought the course. Then it's going to send them a message. But if the person has actually bought the course, you can see right here, contact exists. So it means that they follow this path and they leave the workflow. So it means that they are not going to receive any email again. So you, then the next one, it waits again. Then for it waits again for two days. So after two days, it checks again. If the contact is still tagged a free user, then it send them it send them another message. But if the contact is not tagged again, then it then they exit. It means that they've already finally bought the course. So that is what it's doing right here. Then after that, that is the end of the workflow for here. So those are the people that actually initiated payment. But what about those that actually registered but did not select any course? So that is they fall right into this category right here. So at this part, you can see that. It's after they fall to this part, it's check again if the contact is not tagged as a free user because the thing is that right between here, between the time of entering the workflow and getting here, they, it, has to, it actually has to wait for one hour. So that is what I actually said right here. So after one hour, it's now going to check if the person is not having the tag of free user. But if the person, because it's possible that within one hour, possibly something, things might have happened. Possibly the person might have purchased the course. So, and in order for the person not to receive this message after buying the course, so with this workflow is going to check if they have actually paid for the course or not. So, right here, that's what it's doing. So, you can see that if they have not paid for the course, they, if they have not paid for the course, then they get the message. But if they are paid for the course, meaning that the free the free user tag will have left their name, then they move towards this side. They exit the tag. Then after that, it waits again for one day. Then check again. Is the contact still tagged as a free user? Meaning that the person has not paid. If it's yes, if it is if it is yes, then the person leaves the leaves the workflow. And if the person has if the person has not paid, then the person gets another email. So. Then again, after two days, you can see right here, it checks again. So the same thing, if the contact is not tagged free user, so it leaves, then if the contact is tagged, if the contact is still tagged as a free user, meaning that the contact has not, meaning that the person has not paid, then the person gets the, the third email, then the person exits the workflow. So that is just how this workflow actually works. So, so this is what I did and how it worked for the client. So it's it looks very simple, but not really, because whenever one is building workflow like this, you need to think and you need to look at the possibility of things that might actually happen during the process of registration. So and putting out all those things into consideration, that is what I actually used to build this workflow right here. So you can see that it's very cool. Then now let us now see this workflow in action. So after I activated the workflow, so this is what this is how it worked out. So as you can see, just the way I planned it is exactly the way it works. So as you can see right here, the contact that have entered into this workflow is 21. 21 people have already entered into this workflow. So meaning that the people that actually bought the course or people that or people that have made attempts to buy the course, so they are actually 21, of which 10 people are in progress and 11 people are already out. It means that 11 people, these 11 people that are already out of this workflow have already bought the course, they've paid for the course. So that is how interesting this workflow is. So as you can see right here, so one person is still in queue, waiting for, this, this person is still waiting for an hour before he gets the next message. Then right here, you can see the condition. You can see that the condition, uh, the way the condition is playing out. Four people have gotten this message. Some people have opened the email. You can see right here, like eight people too have also gotten this message. So you can see how interesting this is. 
then right here waiting for one day one person is already here you can see here again three three people have gotten the second email those three people are already here again waiting for the next waiting for the next condition to check if they have actually bought the course or not before they get the next email then this one too the same thing all right here so you can see these five people are already in this queue the last email nobody has gotten the last email here because they are still here so this um, workflow was actually created and activated some days ago so this is how the workflow is so that is basically it and i just i'm just trying to show you how you can use the how you can use ideas like this to create a workflow but if you want to if you want to see me build this workflow again from the scratch with the with the detailed explanation please subscribe and i'm going to be uploading that as the next video so if you have any question or you want me to do anything please let me know in the comment box below please like the video share the video and subscribe to this channel i really appreciate that so if you want me to help you with your email automation you can actually click the link in the description to message me on fiverr i'm fully available to help you so that is it so i'll see you in the next video showing you how to build this workflow so thank you for watching